I don't think I set out to make rescuing horses my life, but rescuing horses did end up consuming my life. Just something I saw a need for, and I went into these situations saying, with every cruelty case I came to, how do I make it better? I think the attachment that you form to a rescue horse is a little bit different than the attachment that you form to another horse. I don't think you love one more than the other, but there's that different relationship with a horse that you've helped. They have memories and they remember the bad times, but you're part of the good times. When you have a horse that has a history and you change their future, I think there's something special. When you take this horse that can barely walk and its nose is on the ground, and a few weeks later, you see that horse go trotting across the field with its mane blowing and its head up, there's no greater reward. It gives us pride to work with the horses and the animals on the other end when they're not necessarily the highlight of someone's life and they're not the, the Olympian or the top show horse. Karina's relationship with the Home for Every Horse gives us the ability to do things that we personally like to do in the sense of helping and giving. That gives us pride in standing behind. That's our company. That's who we are at Perina. It's about the health and the nutrition of the animals. And through a home for every horse, we get to help many more. It's very rewarding to see the horses come around, to go from near death to running out in the pasture, looking for people, enjoying being groomed. It's so rewarding. There's nothing that compares to them suddenly trusting people and their expression changes and they look forward to you coming to feed them and clean their stall and it's amazing, it really is. There are such a variety of horses at a, at a rescue. You can find an off-track thoroughbred, you can find a trained quarter horse, you know, for your, for your kid who wants to learn how to ride. You can find a trained horse, you can find a young pony that maybe is a companion. You kind of have a wide breadth of anything at a rescue. Um, and, and the thing about rescue horses is, you know, once they've been neglected and then they find safety and then they learn how to trust, you know, they become very loyal. The best part of it is when I see him go to a forever home because that's the end of, hopefully that's the end of their journey. The top of our adoption application says, the first paragraph says, if you don't intend to give this horse a forever home, please don't bother filling out the application. I'm, I'm glad to see him go, but at the same time, I'm sad to see him go because we put you know, our heart and soul into to saving him. But there's another one right around the corner that needs the same thing that the one that just left did.